really on my way to the gym, but I was just talking to one of my friends the other day and it got me thinking that there's always gonna be something you can think of to talk you out of doing something. And I did it to myself today, but it was understandably because I like to stay whelmed. I don't like to be overwhelmed or underwhelmed about anything. I like to stay in a neutral space where I know I can you know, perform well and be able to keep myself level-headed in any situation. But there's always gonna be something that you, know, you can think of or something that you can worry about or something that you can be excited for that can either you know push you to do something or stop you from doing something and it's not always going to be easy you know once you start doing something once you start you know something new or once you start trying to stop yourself from doing something that's you know not good for you or trying to you know work on work on yourself is the premise working on yourself trying to get better because you know that everything's not always gonna work out or something might work out and you might not have thought it would so you just gotta give yourself not to say slack but more so of leeway or room to you know succeed or to fail because you can't be perfect everybody likes to say you know they try to do things perfectly or this it was perfect or blah 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 perfect is a concept and it's not always gonna be right or wrong but it, you can succeed and you can fail more than something being perfect happens. Example, since I'm going to the gym, the gym is a prime example. You know, uh, you think you can push this weight or you can pull this weight and you don't. And then the next time come around and you're afraid to do it, but then you do it and you succeed at it. So you fail the first time, learned a lesson, you know, had a more understanding of what, it, what you needed to do or how, you know, what workouts, what accessory movements you needed to work on to help you succeed in that lift or help you, you know, get battery ready or with running. Like you try to push for two miles, three miles, four miles, and you only get a mile and a half, a mile and a quarter. But then the next time you try to push further, you actually reach the mile, you know, the distance you wanted to get to. So you, it's, I'm basically saying, don't allow yourself to not have room. Don't box yourself in, you know, saying, oh, I have to do it this way or I can't do it this way. Well, if you attempted to do a certain way and you end up finding out in the middle of you doing it that you can do something different, then do that. Work on it. You know, try to hone in on, you know, different ways of doing things, different ways of succeeding. Like, I'm a writer. I'm not going to constantly write one way. But if I do find myself writing one way, I'm gonna try to get all of that out so that I can start thinking differently and I can start training my brain to find different angles or different words that fit something or explains a different emotion. So it's just, things are difficult, things are always hard, but you have to find your ability to push through that, your ability to grow from it, your ability to learn with it as you go along. Things take time and you can't rush it made it to this point in the video go ahead subscribe leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think